And on the eighth day, God looked down on his planned paradise and said, I need a caretaker. So God made a farmer. Howdy folks, Darren Backweed here at Cross Timbers Farm. Welcome to Eighth Day Chronicles. We are in the pasture here. As you can see behind me, we've got our solar uh, DIY fence energizer working, and it's working good. I want to give you all a quick update. The last video we done on the solar energizer was kind of left hanging that uh, we were having some issues with that little cheap charge controller. And for the most part, I think we've got that solved. Uh, so we'll give you just a real quick update of it. We've got it in the field. It's been powering two thirds of our pasture uh, for about five days now, and it's doing excellent. All through the night, all day, uh, we've left it on 24 seven to see how it does, and so far it's doing fantastic. It's the performance meter of the Parmac Magnum 12 with the load that we have on it right now is not even phasing it. The, the needle is all the way pegged out as far as it'll go to the green, uh, even overnight, and it's staying there. When it's dark out the and no solar's going in, it's still, uh, the battery is still giving it full power, and we're looking really forward to getting animals in this pasture like soon, like in the next day, a couple of days. We gotta get our ram pump going uh get water into the pasture now that uh our hard freezes cross our fingers are over uh, that ram pump i do believe with the flowing water in it all the time will still run through you know if it gets down around 32 but if if we got down into you know 10 degrees i'd be worried about it but i think i think with our temperatures this time of year now, I think we're about over that for the year. So we're going to get the ram pump started so we can have fresh spring water flowing into our, our water trough for the animals and we can get them moved in the pasture. But I want to give you a real quick update on the, on the solar fence charger. Uh, it's doing great so far. We've had to adjust our panel a little bit. And I'll give you a real quick overview of this, what we've done here and how we set this up. Okay, folks, you can see we've just installed a, a post here. We pulled our fence around. And what I did to gain access to this, instead of just going all through the trouble of hanging another gate, we just used some gate handles and tied it into the fence there. I've got the top two gate handles swung around and they're hanging over there so I can just step over this to gain access. That's why we put the gate handles there. And we have two more strands of fence here to keep the animals off this area. Uh, <laughs> the big white guard dog had been here tearing something up, I'm sure. If not her, the, the goats would. If we didn't have something guarding uh, and fencing this off. So what we have done is we've got a 30 watt solar panel mounted on a four by four treated post there in the ground. We've got our angle good, and we've brought our box and dug out there to make a flat spot, and we've set our box on some concrete cap blocks. The box that we built to house all this. Okay, I'm gonna try to step over this fence and not get zapped. Okay, back in, we just take the lid, just raises very simply. Okay, inside I've got some, still got these books here, but we have a battery in a battery box, a 12 volt. And right there, folks, is one thing I'm worried about. Hmm, hang on just a minute. Let me find him a new place to rest. Okay, I'm back with you. I had to evict Mr. Wasp. That's one thing I'm worried about with this box is uh, it becoming a bee's nest or a wasp nest. But anyway, we have our 
12 volt battery. We have our ch charge controller, that little cheap charge controller. And we have our Parmac Magnum 12. As you can see, our needle is pegged to the far as it'll go to the right. We're getting full power. In the very bottom down there, we have a uh, PVC electrical conduit that comes out right here. And we have our grounding wire and our hot wire going underground. We have the solar wire coming around back and going up there. These wires go underground. And you may be able to see right there the black insulated wire. We have it tied into our fence and out under the fence out through there for about uh, ever, uh, I guess five, six yards apart, there's three grounding rods. Three five foot grounded galvanized rods that have the wire attached to each one of them, all buried underground for our grounding system. Your electrical fence, your charger, your solar panel, uh, all your insulators, none of it is worth a darn without good grounding. Um, it's well worth your time to take uh, the extra time to make sure your electric fence is grounded and grounded well. Okay, as you can see our little cheap charge controller here. Uh, we're getting some clouds now. The battery and this sun's all the way up to 13.8. Uh, as I go through the settings, I've got on 24 hour. Uh, I've got 0.4 amps coming in, bounce down to three in this sun. I mean, pardon me, these clouds. Back up to four. Got 0.1, it bounces to 0.1 going out. Uh, I've got it, this thing is preset. There is one setting that I cannot get it to change is the float voltage where you want to start trickle charging this thing is set all the way up at 14.4 and that must be a factory setting because it will not change okay there it is again okay we've got it set down at 13.3 but it that doesn't seem to do much 11.8 and there's another wasp hang on I got stung by one of these things fencing. Man, they're bad this time of year. Okay, back to our charge controller. All right, we have it at 11.8, meaning when it hits that level, we assume that the battery is dead. No errors, and so far, it's working. It is working so far, so we got our fingers crossed. If there is a weak link in this whole solar setup, it's this cheap Chinese charge controller. And if it gives us problems, we'll just have to replace it. Okay. There is our DIY fence charger. Okay, that's a quick overview of our DIY solar powered 12 volt fence energizer system and we've done a kind of an in-depth build of it but this was just an overview uh to kind of wrap up this this video the other one was kind of left hanging so uh, now you can see it's in the field uh it's got its permanent home here we have it fenced away from uh, any damage the animals can do to it. Our solar is mounted and working. Everything's wired in and uh, we're good to go. I'll show you one other thing. Well, I'll just point it out. Up here in the corner, we have a wire coming off this middle fence, which runs off of a solar pack 12. And it goes up to a cutoff switch then it goes from that cutoff switch on over to our new fencing. Just in case this, this system right here ever goes down, the batteries just go dead and it's a few days till we can replace it, we can turn that switch on. 
we can turn the switch on at the barn and turn all of our solar chargers off completely off all three of them and plug in an ac ken cove unit that will power everything here it's just a matter of turning of uh flipping some switches but we're going to use the solar uh that's the main source we want this to be off grid so and uh no no money going to the power company to run our fences we're doing it all by what the good lord's blessed us with and what he's given us uh, to use for resources so there's our system we're happy with it so far and uh if you have any questions about it just drop me a comment uh below and i'll be glad to uh answer any questions that i can but so far so good we're happy with it God bless and, and uh, hope you and your family have a fantastic day. We appreciate you stopping by our channel. And if you haven't, we'd really appreciate if you'd subscribe. God bless and have a good evening.